Yep, just outside of Milwaukee. Lots of people here, much appreciated, and then we'll be good. And then everybody can cheer. Are we on? Yep. Okay. Hey, everybody on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I am going to be doing an awesome challenge, so be jealous. I've got 10 burgers and sandwiches here, courtesy of Mr. Brew's Tap House. There are over 15 locations in five different states, and they're growing. Their tagline, and I'm practicing for the video, it is where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. So I'm excited. I'm going to dig into all 10 of these, and they might be bringing me out some cheese curds since I have my Drink Wisconsin shirt on, and that's one of their appetizers. But the main focus is these 10 burgers. Along with that, we're going to be trying some of their beers, which I have them all lined up. They're each paired with each of these burgers and sandwiches. But yeah, I'm just going to start filming the video. Thank you guys all for tuning in and watching. My, I think we're on really good Wi-Fi, so this live stream should be great. Thanks for spending some of your Saturday with me. I'm going for overall win number 1,041. You wouldn't do a thing to either of these? Am I like uh, close or do I have time to jump around and I'm all good? You don't have any room to get uh, taller. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can go side to side all you want. All right. She said I'm not allowed to get tall. So I think if I was going to be tall, I'd already be tall. I'm out of my growing phase. Now I'm shrinking. Which I actually feel pretty good in this shirt. So I'm pretty good. Okay. Oh, I did my first kickboxing workout yesterday, but Katina doesn't believe I can be a kickboxer. Not this month. <laughs> Not this month. There you go. Eventually, if you follow me on TikTok, I'm going to have a video of me kicking a water bottle off of her head while she's standing up. Yes. Ain't that right, baby? That will never happen. Ever. Oh, it's going to happen. Okay. Mr. Brew's Tap House, Monotomy Falls. The best beer. What was that? Oh, okay. Best beer. No, best burger and beer challenge. Where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. Okay, so much stuff to remember. We're going to simplify it, and thankfully, I have my friend Rachel, Rachel who's going to help me with all the beers and stuff for this. Don't control. All right, water, beers are not required. All right, I am ready. How many people we got watching? Uh, we will have over 450. Awesome, okay. Well, it is time to get going. All right, 450 and growing. Yes. All right, 1,041. Okay, the best burger and beer challenge where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. Okay, once that tongue's dead, we're good. I am gonna one time this. Do we know how much all this food costs? Uh, it's food costs. A lot, okay. All right. Okay, let's do this. And I'll ask your time in a little bit. Okay. And we're all good? Wouldn't change a thing? Okay. 4603? Okay. All right. Best burger and beer challenge, Mr. Brew's Tap House. And I'm, don't worry about that. Just set it down. Really? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an intro first. Okay, first. Okay. Okay, Rachel. Rachel. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, that was a good crack. All right. Shoot. All right, Katina. No, I won't give away the results, even though I'm going to do that in a bit. Okay. Do you believe in me? Okay, let's do it. Okay. And I'm all center, babe. I just did that to frustrate her. Babe, is he center? He wants to know. Katina's struggling over there off camera. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am starving and very, very excited tonight for many reasons. I'm going for overall win number 1,041, coming off that rough loss in Chicago last week. But we are going to dominate tonight, and I'm excited because we have so many delicious burgers and sandwiches sitting in front of me. But we're actually in Monotomy Falls, Wisconsin, right outside Milwaukee, which is like 10, 15 minutes away from where my beautiful girlfriend, Katina Eats Kilos, and I live. So it is great to be doing a challenge in Monotomy Falls where there are a lot of people watching, which is much appreciated. Yeah. Lots of people here cannot disagree.
the point. We are here at the Monotony Falls location of Mr. Brew's Tap House. Now, there's over 15 locations in five different states, and that number is going to be growing. So it is great to get here to try 10 of their burgers and sandwiches. This is actually called the Best Burger and Beer Challenge because Mr. Brew's Tap House, their tagline is where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. So we do have 10 of their burgers and sandwiches, actually eight burgers and then two sandwiches. I've got an hour to finish all of them. The beers are not gonna be required, but there's four different uh, brands of beer here. And then each one is gonna be paired with one of the burgers or sandwiches. I've got my friend Rachel, from Mr. Brew's Tap House is gonna help me with all the beers because I don't remember what goes with what. But I do know I've gotta finish all 10 in under one hour. If I fail, it's gonna be, I'm thinking around 80 to 90 bucks, but don't quote me on that. They haven't calculated it yet. If I do win, I'm going to get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection. I will get a growler of beer of my choice. They've got over 60 beers to choose from here. And I will also get my name and photo. I'll be the second person up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. And I totally forgot to name all of the burgers and sandwiches, but that is okay because we're going to run through them and it'll give people a reason to stay watching. It was perfect. Yes, no, because we're going to explain yeah. the burgers and the sandwiches and the beers. It's going to be good. Okay. All right. Yeah, you got <laughs> and yeah, all that was accurate, right? No, was accurate. Yes. Yeah, I, that, you nailed it. it. You okay. literally okay. missed it. Nailed all right. it. We're good. Ooh. Okay, and we're going to be starting with the crispy chicken sandwich. Okay, yes. This is my main roll. I'm the hardest one. Okay, and do you actually know what's on all these? You want me to describe them? No, no, no. I mean, maybe if I ask any questions. Oh, good God. But what's on the what's on the, what's on the crispy chicken sandwich? Is Barry, get over here. What's on the crispy chicken sandwich? Oh, it just, comes with, it just comes with lettuce, tomato, and a side of buffalo. But there's no sauce. And that on it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. We won't worry about it. Okay. Yep. We're just gonna eat it raw and uncut. Okay. No, it's not raw chicken. It's fried. Okay. All right. YouTube's telling me to shut up and eat, and I'm gonna do that after this brief speaking. Okay. All right, I got this. Uh, 4603? Okay. Oh, okay. What's up? What are these? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm, no, I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna eat all these because I've got no like plate to put anything on. But we're gonna be fine. All right. All good? We've been living together for a while now. She's getting to the point where she's getting frustrated with me a lot. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm ready. All right, I have not done a challenge like this with a whole bunch of variety in a long time, so I am pumped to start eating. We do have eight of their burgers, we have two sandwiches, I'll explain them as I go, but I'm gonna start with one of the sandwiches first, which is their crispy chicken sandwich. Usually it comes with buffalo sauce on the side, but we're just gonna eat it like it is with a whole bunch of healthy vegetables on it. And then while I'm eating it, my friend Rachel is gonna tell me about what all the uh, the beers that pair with all these are. So let's just dig in. Thank you so much to everybody here with Mr. Brew's Tap House, not only in Monotony Falls. The challenge is only available here at this one, but like I said, there's 15 locations. If there's one near you, get here because the menu looks amazing. Let's try it out. One, two, three. Boom! Boom! <laughs> all right, let's dig in. Chicken sandwich time. Mm. 
And the beer that bears with this is the Stone IPA by the iconic West Coast. No. Yep. What, what yeah, is it? West Coast. <laughs> West Coast IPA? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but what's the brewer? Stone. Oh, Stone IPA. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That sandwich is delicious, but the beer that pairs with it is by Stone IPA. I guess Katina's already had it before, but it is their iconic West Coast style IPA. So Let's have some of that along with what I just spit out. <laughs> oh yeah, that is delightful. Mm. Mm. for that one. That is yummy. Alright, All right, we are done with that. Now let's move on to Katina said to do this early on. I'm going to work on their peanut buster. I don't want to do this once it gets cooled down, but this obviously has a whole bunch of peanut butter. On top, there is bacon, and then there is cheese, and a whole bunch of awesomeness. Woo! Mm. 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 Oh yeah. That is delicious. Now I understand why it paired with this. This is a peanut buster burger with peanut butter. This is by Founders. It's got raspberry. It's a raspberry ale. It's called Rubeus. Yes, it is delightful. Going to finish that for sure with this burger. Remember, these beers are optional. I don't have to finish them all. Mm. Like I just had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was amazing. All right, we are done with that. Now let's work on, I also don't want to do this mac and cheese while it is uh, cooled down either. So let's work on their bacon mac and cheese. Each of these burgers is a five, three ounce beef patty. So, whew, a lot of food here. And as Katina said in her video, a lot of bread. Which, by the way, I never said her record. 46 minutes and 3 seconds, so we're trying to smash that. Mm. 
Okay, right now I'm really happy I'm doing this, but I'm mad that I haven't been here yet because we live right down the street. Nice. This food is amazing. Katina, why haven't you brought me here on a date night? You never asked. <laughs> you should have read my mind. Mm. Mm. This is Armchair Quarterback by Three Sheep Brewing. I've had this before, it is delicious. We actually had it up in Green Bay. Glad I'm having it here near Milwaukee now. Mm. Three Sheeps, not Three Sheeps, remember that. Oh, and that does pair well with this mac and cheese. The bacon mac and cheese is delicious on this burger. That is good. Ah, all right, we are done with that. All right, now I think I'm gonna do the jalapeno popper next. So that one is over here. I know it's got jalapenos, of course, cream cheese. I see some fried onions, and then of course the burger. Am I missing anything? Um, barbecue sauce. Barbecue oh, sauce, whoa. yes, I did forget about that. Yeah, I said that. And the barbecue sauce is homemade, I think. Mm. Mm. I was actually just about to comment on how the jalapenos weren't that spicy, and then one just bit me in the mouth. Ooh. Very good, though. What was your favorite burger? Uh, between the peanut butter and the mac and cheese. Mm. Ooh, that is spicy. All right, we are right at 10 minutes in pretty much. Just keep in mind, all of these are available at all the other Mr. Brew's Tap House's location as well. They're not just here at the Menominee Falls one. I think that was fat-free cream cheese, so that one wasn't too bad for me, but <laughs> let's see. Along with that, I should have been drinking with it. It is a fresh-squeezed IPA 
by Deschutes. So let's dominate that. I've had many beers from Deschutes. So Pinky's up again. Ooh, and what? These are each two and a half ounces? Uh, five. Okay. Five <laughs> ounces. You don't have to drink all of it. <laughs> we are Ubering home. Ah. All right. Done with the Deschutes. I've had this before I knew it was going to be good. Whew. All right. We are done with... Are we halfway already? No, we're not. We've got six left to go. We're done with four. I'm going to go next with the Kentucky Bourbon Classic. Is that what this is? Kentucky. Is that yes. that one? I can't see it in the direction, but I think so, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think this one kind of scares me. Let's do this uh, Kentucky Bourbon Classic. And I am cheating, of course. I've got some cheat sheets behind me. Hidden by this fortress of beers. Ooh. All right. And this one's got bacon. Healthy grilled onions. It's got more sauce and I think fried onions on here too. What's the sauce? Um, it's a bourbon mayo. It's a bourbon mayo. And crispy. Oh, mayo. Like a bourbon mayo. Oh, I said yeah. mayo, like M A L E. Okay. No. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't know what that meant. Okay. All right. This Kentucky bourbon classic looks amazing. It's got a whole bunch of bacon. It's got fried onions, it's got a mayo on it, a bourbon mayo, and then of course healthy grilled onions. This is gonna be yummy. Let's dig in. We're 13 minutes and 20 seconds in, YouTube. Still under 15 minutes in, I talked to a couple of the staff members and asked what their favorite burger was. A few of them said this Kentucky bourbon burger, and now I know why. Yeah. It's amazing, but the beer that it pairs with is the Cherry Stout by YB. Youngblood. Youngblood, okay, yeah. yes. Youngblood, and that's local, that's a Wisconsin and beer, right? Yes, okay. Yes. Yes. We haven't been there yet, but Youngblood Beer Company is based out of Madison. So we're hoping to get there soon, but let's enjoy their cherry stout. It's good. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Remember, all these beers are optional, but if I do finish all the beers, that'll be 50 ounces, since there's 10 burgers and sandwiches. That's amazing. Ooh. All right, let's finish the burger.
Thankfully, I don't have to drink 10 of these. This is a very thick. Other people in the crowd will do it for me, but that was an amazing cherry stout, another fruit. So this is almost a healthy challenge. Ooh. Halfway. Eventually, we're going to get to Madison, but uh, right now, we're going to go with the California. So I want to have this just for some fiber. There's plenty of healthy vegetables. We've got tomato. We've got lettuce, we've got guacamole, we've got a California sauce, I think, we've got cheese. It's a red pepper mayo, but ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. Ooh. Woo! California, I think every California burger sandwich I've had has had avocado or guacamole on it. And this one, of course, does too. It's amazing. It is their little something, or the something ale, and from everybody laughing, it sounds like I mispronounced it. I should have said Lagunitas. Okay, yes, I was way wrong there. Okay. I have had it before, but I've never had to pronounce it. Lagunitas something ale. I got you. It's 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Little something something ale. There we go. Yes. Okay. Oh, and this burger is a little something something. That's why they pair. It. Lagunitas, something, something ale. Something. Lagunitas, something, something ale. Did I mispronounce it again? Little something, something ale. Yes. Regardless, it's delicious. From California. That's why I was with the California Burger. But next, I'm going to go with the bruschetta, which is right here. Just like bruschetta, it's got healthy tomatoes. It's got some sauces, cheese, awesomeness. So let's do that next. That looks like I love bruschetta. It's going to be so good. Your mind is going to be blown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was very It's phenomenal. It was like a food dressed up as other foods. I know that's about that. Oh, yeah. We're still under 24 minutes in, YouTube. We've got an hour. We're going to get it. now, but the beer that pairs with this burger, the bruschetta, is again by Lagunitas. It is their IPA, just India Pale Ale. But again, that's out of California too. Delicious. Every time you enjoy it. Oh. This is a tough challenge.
If you're jealous that I'm getting paid to basically eat 10 amazing burgers and drink 10 beers, you should be jealous. But remember, I've been doing this for 12 years now. I've put many, many over 100 hour weeks into all this, and I really appreciate all your guys' support. And I have to do well because having a girlfriend is expensive. <laughs> she deserves it all. She's worth it. Yeah, she is. All right, three more to go. I'm actually going to do, Katina had this last. I'm going to do the pulled pork sandwich next. Oh, I'm not done. Uh -oh. What are you trying to? <laughs> you trying to cut corners here? <laughs> ah. Delicious. Okay. Now it's time for the pulled pork sandwich. It's got barbecue sauce and deliciousness. So let's dig in. I think it's about the same portion size weight rise of meat as the burgers. Probably a little more though, this is thick. time limit. But we do want to beat 46 just so we can best Katina's time. I've got it. Ooh, then I'll rub it in later. <laughs> Sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> At this point I expect nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally missed it. What? What did he say? You too? Oh, okay. I just we're not going to talk about it. Diet soda. Okay. Diet Pepsi or Coke. Please. Yeah, that would be amazing. Oh, plenty of time. We got this. Woo!
Keep in mind, this is not as easy as eating 10 cheeseburgers from McDonald's. There are a lot of toppings on all this, and the bread is thick, too. There is a lot of bread. But we are done with the pulled pork sandwich. Delightful. said it earlier but this is again by three sheeps brewing this is their three sheeps pill so ooh, this is good I think I've actually had this before and it looks lighter which is good because I need lighter beers right now oh yeah that was delicious that would be good after a good 13 mile jog or something like that Oh, all right, we're 33 minutes and 12 seconds in. Next, we'll do the Ragin' Cajun. I already know I'm gonna love mushroom and Swiss, so I'm saving that for the end. Ooh. I should have trained more for this. This is a lot. Yeah. Five seconds in. that because it's got a Cajun lime sauce and what else does it have? It's got more healthy grilled onions and then what else? Uh, the cheese pepper jack cheese. There's pepper jack cheese. It is amazing. And then the beer it pairs with is actually again by Founders Brewing. It is their all day IPA session ale. It is amazing. I've had this before as well. Ooh. I spent like nine years single so I drink a lot of beer. <laughs> but now that I'm with Katina, I'm grown up and mature. Isn't that right? <laughs> Thank you. I got it. Sounded very Mm. 
We're 37 minutes in. Right now, I've got Mulan playing in my head. I'll make a man out of you, and I'm thinking about Mulan in the animated one climbing up that pole, or else in the real life one walking up the mountain with all the water. But ugh, I'm going to get this. Yeah, you are. Please keep in mind, I didn't know I was drinking all this beer beforehand. Our friends Robert and Shale are going to help us get the band home tonight. So don't you guys worry. Do not D&D. &D. All right. Oh, I, I did finish that. <laughs> all right. All the IPA. I feel like in college though I'm doing power hour, but um, drink responsibly at Mr. Brew's Tap House. Okay, we are 38 minutes, 50 seconds in. Ooh. All right, now is for the really healthy one because we've got mushrooms and Swiss cheese. Some, some studies show that Swiss cheese has more calcium than other cheeses. And what? Oh, I said it has a gravy sauce. Oh, gravy it. sauce. Okay. I love gravy. Yeah. And they make this sauce in-house. Yep. Ooh, and then we're down to our last beer, too. <laughs> oh, I am way more full than I thought I would be. Come on, Randy. Come on, And as you can see behind me, there's a very hard-working staff here at Mr. Brew's Tap House to get everybody their food and beverages. There are so many beers behind me, as you can see, and there's a whole lot off camera as well, which is awesome. Ooh. Confidence is high. This last mushroom and Swiss burger pairs with, again, Founders, Four Giants IPA, and it is a Imperial Independent. This last mushroom and Swiss burger, it pairs with, again, by Founders, <coughs> oh. 
Ah. Caught an onion to the throat on that one. But. Third time's the charm. All right, this le- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, this last mushroom and Swiss burger, it actually pairs with, again by founders, their Four Giants IPA, which is an Imperial India Pale Ale. I've had this before, it's gonna be delicious, but we'll get this beer done, this burger done, and then we'll be finished. <coughs> you got this. I do have my Drink Wisconsin shirt on to match Katina and because it is Milwaukee Bucks color. So, uh, just like they dominate, I will dominate too. sandwiches were. I do have the new record, not by a whole lot, 44 minutes and 58 seconds. Yes. I've got to say, I think just standalone, my favorite burgers were the jalapeno popper burger and then the mac and cheese burger or the bacon mac and cheese. Both of those were amazing, but my favorite pair as far as burger and beer was definitely that peanut buster burger along with the raspberry 
uh, beer. That was amazing. So yeah, just loved everything. The pulled pork sandwich, the chicken. If I had to get the chicken again, I think I would get the buffalo sauce on it. But yeah, just all 10 of those were amazing. So glad I got to enjoy them and feast on them as part of this best burger and beer challenge, all brought to you guys by Mr. Brews Tap House in Mononymy Falls, Wisconsin. Very close to where Katina and I live, just pretty much on the other side on the Milwaukee and Mononymy Falls border. I am going to get my, I think it's about $80 to $90 meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, which is right behind Katina. She is going to throw it to me, yes. All right, we've got this beautiful, sweet t-shirt. It is a 3X, which is much needed after finishing all of those beers and burgers, but we've got, I love the Pink Floyd theme, but we've got Wish You Were Beer, that is awesome. And then on the back, of course, we've got Mr. Brew's Tap House, where good people drink good beer. Because like I said at the beginning, their slogan here is where the perfect burger meets your shoot. New favorite beer. Where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. Okay, yeah. Because like I said at the beginning, the slogan here is that at Mr. Brew's Tap House, it's where the perfect burger meets your new favorite beer. And they were right, because I enjoyed all of those pairings. Thanks to everybody involved, but yeah, in addition to the shirt and free meal, I'm going to be the second person with my name and photo up on the Wall of Fame, and I will get a growler to take home and drink later of whatever beer I choose. That is awesome, so I'm sure I'll get one different than Katina gets, but yeah, just delicious overall win. <coughs> <laughs> but yeah, delicious overall win, number 1,041. Thank you so much to everybody here with Mr. Brew's Tap House. Remember, even if you don't live around the Milwaukee area, there are, I think, 10 locations all around Wisconsin, and there's over 15 locations in five different states. So if you live near one, Get there, check out the awesome menu. There's even more stuff than I have today. And like you see behind me, there's plenty of beers to choose from while you're watching a game. But yeah, thank you guys all for being here. Yeah. Yeah. So Tina and I will be doing a state challenge in Janesville, Wisconsin tomorrow. But thank you guys all for watching. All right, nobody get up yet. I'm gonna get some videos of everybody cheering once I close out of YouTube. Everybody who watched on YouTube, sorry about the ending there. Oh, I've got like a piece of bread in my throat. Ooh. And I probably shouldn't have drank all of those five ounce beers, but I'll be happy I did as long as the video doesn't get demonetized on Facebook. So yeah, no, thank you guys all for spending some of your Saturday with me. The videos of Katina's and mine will be up in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for watching those. But yeah, appreciate all your support. Lots more videos upcoming. Katina, will you give me that? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at me. Okay. Look at the hardworking staff here, just pouring delicious beers. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, and that's just to show you all of the beers. There are so many beers, that's why it's called Mr. Brew's Tap House. Thank you to everybody involved. Yes. The number two finisher, <laughs> Katina eats kilos. Yeah. Thank you guys all for watching.